cobwebs. I'm filming this video in my bathroom because I recently had a cobweb epiphany and it started right here. I just came out of the shower and I looked up and I realized that there were cobwebs all over the place and they're usually so thin that I couldn't see them, right? Especially when I don't have my glasses on. But these were just kind of covered with steam. It's like, oh my gosh, there's cobwebs everywhere. And then I realized that <laughs> we had, like, I started seeing them all over the house. And it's like, oh my gosh, I got to do something about this. So I just spent a lot of yesterday just <laughs> with a vacuum cleaning up cobwebs. But I figured I, I can't be the only person that's been dealing with cobwebs. As I was cleaning, I started really realizing, well, there is a lot of spiritual meaning to cobwebs. And so I figured, why not do a video on the spiritual meaning of cobwebs? So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my general understanding of spider and spiderweb energies. And um, I, I've, I've done a whole video on spider, but this will be just a little bit of an overview. Um, for specific spiritual meanings of cobwebs in your home, the three major emotional issues and negative behaviors that you might want to watch out for if you have a lot of cobwebs showing up for you or in your home. And then five things that you can do to clear out the cobweb energy in your energetic field. And um, before we go further, I just want to give a huge uh, shout out of gratitude to the sponsor of this video, Sunsama. And uh, they're an amazing time management app and planning app that helps you get a lot more stuff done with less stress. And since they're my very first sponsor, I, I really had to just chuckle at the timing that they reached out to me because this app is really a perfect answer antidote to this chaotic cobweb energy and if you'd like to try it out just click the link in the description box of this video for a free trial um, try it out I've been finding it very helpful I'll share a little bit more about that at the end of this video okay so cobwebs first of all uh, we are dealing with spiders here right so a little bit of general info around spider energy Sacral chakra, right? This is the chakra that, that spiders really are, I, I feel, have the most resonance with. And, you know, especially with that great big abdomen of theirs. Um, so with the sacral chakra issues, we're looking at issues that affect your creativity, that can affect your abundance. They can also include money. Okay. So, and also uh, the sacral chakra is all about the emotional body, right? So we'll be dealing with those issues when we're looking at cobwebs showing up for you. Um, also, any kind of web, right? We're looking at, on the positive side, we're looking at creativity, we're looking at self-expression, we're looking at beauty. And then on the negative side, we have that feeling of entanglement, entrapment, or kind of sticky energy, okay? So those might be showing up as well. Okay, so looking at specifically cobweb spiders, right? Not all spiders, actually not all spiders spin webs. And a lot of times the classic spider web that we think of is that beautiful orb spider web, right? That shows up with the spiral, you know, um, kind of beautiful construction, right? So cobweb spiders don't do that. They have these little kind of chaotic webs that, that really don't have any specific structure. Um, Typically, they're going to be small to medium spiders, and um, usually they're non-venomous. -ven usually they're very, very harmless. Uh, the vast majority of them, there are a few exceptions. Um, one of these is the black widow. So if you have like black widows or a venomous one showing up, um, <laughs> you know, that, that can indicate maybe deeper issues, maybe deeper issues with masculine and feminine with that kind of sacral chakra st stuff going on. Um, but most of the time they're going to be really, really innocuous, harmless. Okay. The most common is the house spider. It has a little round abdomen. It's sort of a, a dull uh, brown color. They tend to kind of show up in the dark corners. And the ones that I have were actually cellar spiders, which are kind of a longer bodied spider. Um, the, the feeling that I'm getting with cellar spiders showing up is maybe like I've just been through a huge last few years, huge transformation, a lot of clearing. And it feels to me like it's, it's just sort of the last you know, some of the, the deeper seated little things that are kind of, uh, I've been doing a lot of clearing out of like the, the, the fears that are um, kind of left over, right? So it feels like I've, I've dealt with a lot of big fears, but 
in the past few weeks, there's been things that sort of like, you know what, why am, aren't I moving forward and realizing it, okay, I'm clearing out at a deeper level. So it's almost like these spiders are showing up, um, kind of bringing up some of the deep down stuff, right, <laughs> that needs to be dealt with. Um, so if you're, you know, experiencing that kind of thing, it, it, sometimes when these things show up, they can actually be a positive. It can be just showing us that, okay, we're ready to deal with another layer. All right. Um, okay. So let's look at some cobweb meanings. Okay. I'm going to give you four of them. And these are most likely, you know, these are going to be mostly negative, but again, it can be a helper message to help you, you know, these when the negative things show up there it's it's usually to show us what needs to be addressed so that we can get back on track, right? So the first meaning, the spiritual meaning of cobweb is neglect, okay? And this is a pretty obvious thing, right? When, when um, you know, the cobwebs will show up in undisturbed corners that haven't been recently swept out. So if, you know, if you haven't been making a regular habit of dusting your home or whatever, you know, you, you might be having cobwebs. Okay. And so first of all, just realize like, you know, if a lot of times what can happen is if we have a really busy spell or if we have been ill or something like that and really haven't been able to, you know, address the, the normal housekeeping. That's when the, sh the, the cobwebs will show up. So it's, it's like, you know, don't feel guilty here, but it's just, it's just showing up to say, Hey, look, there's some issues and whether it's actual house cleaning issues or whether it's issues, um, you know, related to other things in your life or your business, the cobwebs can be showing up just to say, Hey, look, it's time it's time to pay attention to some of these things that maybe have been put on the back burner or, you know, haven't been addressed very long. Um, so, you know, just, just a little reminder, Hey, you know, there's some issues that you might want to just check up on. Um, I'm, I'm getting for somebody here, I'm getting, it may be the kids. It's like, what's really going on with them, right? If you've been really busy, um, you know, are you noticing they're spending more time kind of holed up in their room, right? Um, maybe time to, to, to have a date with your kids or something, you know, each one of them just sit down, ask what's going on in their life. You know, just don't pry, but you know, in a nice way, maybe give them a little bit more attention, right? You know, take them to the pool or something, get them out in the light. Um, I don't know why it's showing up for kids, but for somebody that, that that's potentially what it might be, it could also be like your, your finances or something like that. Um, disorganization is number two, right? Um, look at the cobweb spider versus your classical spider web. Okay. It's really haphazard. There's no clear plan or intention that we can really decipher out of a cobweb spider. Um, so if cobwebs are showing up. It just could be uh, showing, you know, kind of disorganization. And number three is distractions and lack of focus, right? Um, and, and I think those two are related. So it's like, if you are disorganized and that's, you know, what's going on, it's just like, okay, what do you need to do to bring some order back into your life, right? And then with the distractions, that's sort of like, well, you know what you need to do, but it's like, you can't seem to focus on it, right? Um, you know, you sit down to work and, oh, you end up on Facebook <laughs> for two hours or whatever it is, or, or you can't even decide how to prioritize things. What do I do? Okay. And it may be a matter of, um, I'm getting kind of, for some of you, it might be career. It'd be like, okay, well, I know I want to start this business or I want to do that or that. And, and every time I do, it's like, you know, maybe you literally see the cobwebs and feel like you want to start cleaning your house or, you know, should I, um, should I stay with my job or should I maybe I'm thinking about moving, but I'm not sure. And all, all these things that may be distracting you from what you really need to do next step, next step, next step. Okay. So, um, you know, you could actually ask your angels, what's the actual next step I need to do? Um, where do I really need to focus? Okay. And then the number four is energy leaks. Okay. So, um, remember again that we're dealing with spiders and there's a certain like vampiric energy that has to do with this negative, the negative polarity of spider. All right. So, um, 
that's where energy leaks are coming in because there's your little things. And again, these little house spiders or cobweb spiders, most of them are very, very, very harmless seeming, right? They're, they, they're harmless. They don't bite. They, you know, even if they were to bite, it wouldn't be toxic for most of them. Um, and, and they just sort of stay quietly in the corner. Okay. And it's like, I've known a lot of very tender hearted people, myself included. It's like, okay, it's not harming anything. Maybe it'll eat a fly. And I'll just kind of let it sit there. I'll just have it, let it have that corner or whatever. Um, but when you have enough of these going on, and this can indicate things like, um, you know, unwanted emails. Um, it can be people in your life. They're like, oh, do you have a minute? You know, or, you know, just <laughs> kind of just reaching out to you in ways that are just like, when they do, you'll know those people, right? It's like, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> right. Uh, what do you need this time? Um, it can be profit leaks, right? Little things like those little subscriptions that you forgot that you had that you don't even use, right? Um, it could actually be energy leaks in your home that are leaking out profits, right? The little drip, the faucet drip, um, the little draft that you haven't plugged that crack in the wall. And by the way, cracks in the wall and, and the foundation, little cracks in your home, that's one of the major ways that spiders get in. So really indicative of any kind of energy leak um, would be these, these cobwebs are showing up to kind of just give you a clue as to this is this is actually happening. Okay, so what are the main emotional issues or behavioral issues that are at the bottom of this? Okay, that this, you know, these cobwebs showing up might be pointing to, bringing your attention to, or trying to, right? Um, number one is the feeling of shame, okay? Feelings of unworthiness. You know, of course, like the, the first thing I thought was like when I saw those cobwebs, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's horrible. I hope nobody has seen those, you know, when they come in. Um, you know, I've, I've been really neglecting my house. I feel bad about that. And, um, you know, so that kind of shame, feelings of unworthiness. And, and I think it goes way beyond just feeling like you haven't been doing a good job with your home. It's like this can trigger, not even trigger, it, it, it just can indicate. So, there may be little issues of shame or unworthiness or that ever feeling, you forget that feeling where it's like, you know, I did something wrong, but you don't even know what it was because it really wasn't anything. But it's sort of like, you know, some of us have those deep seated feelings, either from childhood or for past, from past lives or whatever it is. Okay. So this could just bring our attention to that. Um, number two is guilt. All right. So, um, and especially those feelings of any feelings of like, oh no, I, I haven't been paying attention to this. And then the guilt is going to start welling up. Right. Um, so it can flush up the feelings of guilt, which is great because that's how you can address it. Right. You can't address it really until it's really been flushed up. Also guilt about standing up for yourself. Right. If you've got these you know, whatever it is, the little energy leak, little energy vampires that are showing up. What's super common is that we tolerate them out of a feeling of guilt, right? Um, I, I, I don't want to remove the spider from its happy little dwelling place. So I'll just tolerate it. I'll just let it be there. It's a people pleasing kind of thing, right? People pleasing. Um, and so if, if you're, if you have these cobwebs coming up in your life, watch for people pleasing behaviors. Okay. So six suggestions to help you clear out cobweb energy <laughs> out of your home, out of your life, out of your field. Number one is self-worth, right? And claim your right to your space. You have a right to be here. You are here for a reason. The universe, source, God, creator, whatever it is, created you because you're this unique energy. Your energy right now is needed. And, and as a child of the creator, you are you have a right to take up space you have a right to express yourself to be here and and just feel like you have your own space okay um so self-worth claim your right to your own space so number two get clear about your intentions right you are here for a reason 
why is it that you're here? What is it that you want to accomplish? You know, what's your dream for the world? What's your dream for humanity? What's your dream for your own life, right? Really get really, really clear and, and don't feel guilty about whatever it is that you desire to be manifesting or bringing in, right? You know, you deserve to be here. You deserve to have you know, what it is that will support you in living your purpose here on earth. All right. So get clear on your intentions. If you don't know what your purpose is, if you've been struggling with that, if you've been kind of going back and forth, um, I, I have a really limited number of mentorships that are available here in, um, coming up in this fall. I just opened up my, um, uh, my calendar to set a discovery call. If you're interested in any kind of mentorship, I do help people to get very, very clear on their purpose and intentions in this world. Okay. So that's number two, get clear about your intentions. Number three is to set clear boundaries and plug your energetic leaks. Okay. Um, and that, you know, if once you are really aware of what it is that you want to man manifest, why you're here, it makes it so much easier to set those boundaries, but you still have to set them. You have to be like, okay, you know, be very conscious of, you know, I need this time and this, you know, I, I'm going to clear this, set this time on my calendar and, you know, it, whatever it is, if you have a creative project, a passion project, a business that you're starting, whatever it is, um, you know, be clear about, I need this time and this time is sacred for that. Or maybe it's sacred to a relationship. Maybe you have date night or something, but be, you know, really clear about what those are, or it may be a space boundary, or it could be a personal space boundary, energetic boundary, whatever it is. Um, but you have to be very conscious and clear about it. Um, number four, don't feel guilty about saying no and, and upholding those boundaries. <laughs> okay. You have a right. Again, you have a right to be here. You have a right to your time and space that you need in order to be able to express yourself and bring forth what you're here to do. Okay. Um, number five out of six, if it's organization and distractions, give yourself that proper space and the tools to help you stay focused. Okay. To help you to stay organized. And again, if you have a busy personal or professional life where you're juggling a ton of things, do check out that link to Sansama. If you're like me and juggling multiple emails, apps, and project management uh, software like I am, um, a, a traditional old to-do list may not actually cut it. And I, I've been playing with this app for a little while, and I'm really finding that it does help me to zero in on the important stuff and cut out the distractions and feel a lot happier at the end of the week about what I've been able to do. Um, again, there are other apps out there. This one I'm finding is really, really helpful. You can try it out for free when you click the link in the description below this video. And number six here. Um, is an elemental support, right? Bring in the element of air in a positive way. Okay, so cobwebs tend to collect where the the air is stagnant. Okay, and so what is the element of air? What does that look like in its positive expression in human behavior? It looks like laughter. It looks like fun. It looks like play. It looks like movement. Okay, and and you know this cobweb. <laughs> anything in life. It's all about vibration, right? And spiders are super sensitive to vibration. If cobwebs are coming up for you, you probably do have a lot of that spider energy, which in its positive expression, again, is this abundance and beauty. Okay. Um, and if you're all about abundance and beauty, if you have a lot of sacral energy happening, creative energy, you're going to want to bring in that positive air, right? Get into the spirit of play. Um, spirit of play is huge. You know, allow yourself to dance, allow yourself to move your body as well as, you know, whatever mental gymnastics that you want to do. Meditation, actually, I'm saying mental gymnastics, your mind can go on these little gymnastic distractions, but we can rein it in with meditation. Um, um, but I'm getting kind of back to the, the element of air. You don't have to be crabby or, or, you know, have any kind of stinging or biting behavior to be able to say no and claim your space, right? So when we're really in our power, take a deep breath, use your breath in a positive way, 
and you don't have to try to justify or explain yourself to somebody, right? You can just say, no, that's not fitting with my plans today. You can say it with a smile, say it with conviction. And you'll find most of the time those cobwebs are going to clear out pretty easily, right? Um, and then one last little note is diligence, okay? Because cobwebs are one of those things. It's not like a take care of it and it's gone. They're going to be back, right? They're going to be back. You know, no matter how clean we keep our house, some some little cobweb spider is going to get in, right? So it's a matter of having that discipline and diligence to to do our energetic clearing work on a daily basis, to you know do the little tasks, right, that keep us functional and clear and you know whether it's the exercise or the good diet or the meditation practice or whatever it is to remember to have that discipline that it is an important and maybe make that part of your boundaries right so i hope that you've enjoyed this video on the spiritual meaning of cobwebs if you found it helpful please post your biggest aha moment in the comments below and remember you were born to be free